This Pet of the Week segment is brought to you by Chowdown Pet Supplies. Welcome back. I'm joined now by Ron Markley on behalf of the Mesa County Animal Services, and this is Curly Sue, our Pet of the Week. She is an adorable little kitty. Um, so how, uh, I know that she's called Curly Sue because of her unique tail, right? Yeah, yeah she's got this really this. unique tail that kind of curls up <laughs> around her hindquarters. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just seems to kind of fit her. Yeah, it does. And I think, you know, Curly Sue's a good name for not only the, the curly tail, but she's so fluffy, too, yeah. and her fur is a little bit... Um, it's, she's kind of got a thick coat here. Yeah, she does have a thick coat. She's a good kitty. So how long have you guys had her? We've had her a couple months now. Mm -hmm. She was abandoned. Aww. And uh, so we got her back up in shape and got her healthy and she's ready for her new home. Perfect. And what do you think, what would you say her personality is for anyone looking for a new cat? Normally she's really curious and, mm -hmm. and typical cat behavior, but she's curious and uh, loves loves. Yeah. She's a little nervous now as I am, but... Uh, oh, yeah. She's uh, she's real quiet. Yeah, I know. She seems like a very sweet cat. And right before, she was kind of a little bit skittish. But right now, she seems good. She seems very yeah. calm. Hi. And I love her, her uh, dual-color coat here. I know yeah. that she's got some, like, orange-brown patches here. Yeah, she's, Hi, buddy. she's an orange tabby, but she's also got a lot of white with her. And, yeah. yeah. So she's a really pretty kitty. Yeah. And I know that, um, you know, holidays are just ending. And a lot of people have gotten cats and dogs as, like, Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. And so I always wondered, like, what do you think would be the first thing for people to do after they receive a pet as a gift or they get a pet for Christmas? Spend a lot of time with it. Let them know it's okay. Show them where their <laughs> territory is. And uh, just let them know they're going to be okay. It's yeah. new to them, too. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of action going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, girl. Well, yeah, her curious side is coming out. She <laughs> yeah. wants to check things yeah, out. Yeah, she's wanting to get down. And so about the tail again, because this is such a cute tail, is that, um, is, are there certain breeds that have like a tail like that? No, or? it's really unusual because yeah. it's a shorter tail and curls up like that. Yeah, for this, uh, for a domestic short hair, it's kind of unusual. Yeah, know? I would say so it almost looks like for dogs, like a pug tail kind of yeah. does that little, <laughs> that little thing. You're like a little pug kitty. Yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. And for um, cats, when you first introduce them into your home, um, what do you think for like felines specifically, um, how would you go about kind of introducing them to a new space? Well, definitely show them where their food and water and mm -hmm. their litter box is mm -hmm. and then help them recognize this is where you need to be. And uh, like any animal, set the standards right away because they're like kids. If you let them get away with something one time, then okay, I can do this anytime I want to. They're going to do it, yeah. yeah. And I think cats are a lot more independent than dogs, yeah, too. And they once are. they think they they're a, can get away with something, they're going to do it. Yeah. Oh, my so. goodness. And are there any, have you ever seen another cat that's come in that has like a unique tail like this before? Not quite like this one. Mm -hmm. This is you know, really unusual. We've seen them bobtailed and quarter tailed. Yeah, but, but this little. Uh, this curl one flourish. is pretty, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty unique. Perfect. And last question is just if people want to check out cats or dogs like this and get more information, where can they do that? They can come visit us at 971 Kaufman Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're open from 11 to 4, Monday through Friday, and then 11 to 1 on the weekends. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on the you show bet. and bringing Curly Sue, this unique, adorable cat. And if you want to check her out, you can go to Mesa County Animal Services. We'll be right back.